Lymington Rowers left itching on Saturday with mixed feelings after picking up two victories, but the club fell behind in all three of their championships. J16 Sculler Ryan Chalk picked up the first victory in a free boat straight final against Scullers from Shanklin and Paul. Chalk, watched on by his father Kenny, successfully negotiated the terms before holding off a late challenge from Paul to seal the victory. At the other end of the age spectrum, the veteran over 50 crew picked up Limiton's second win. They proved to be too good for Southampton-based Cole Porters and picked up the victory with an impressive performance. The men's Junior 4 crew were back to full strength this week with the return of Bowman Tom Homan. The crew's opening heat went without a hitch as they beat BTC. But before the final there were a few tense moments for the team. Coach Tim Ball and Vet 50 Simon Wright were forced to make last minute repairs to Skylark and this ate into the team's warm up. Ride pressed this advantage in the final, opening up a length over Limington on the first leg. A good turn from Cox Max Hishon neutralised this and the Limington side found themselves in the lead. But as the crews moved into the final sprint finish, Ride pushed through at the last and came through to take a 2-1 lead in the championship. Chris Schraber and Geoffrey Fryer had a tough afternoon in the senior pair and senior skulls competition. Their senior pair heat was a draw, but the officials decided to send both crews through to the final. Then, both men reached the final of the senior skulls. Fryer picked up third place, but Schraber had a close finish against BTC's Richard Hume. Hume narrowly picked up the win, but the close races were tough on Schreiber. The duo raced a far fresher Itchin team in the senior pair final. Despite pushing Itchin all the way, Limington were unable to beat the home team, who now take a 2-1 lead in the championship race. The Limington veteran over 40 crew were able to pick up a second place in their final. Limington also had young crews in the J16 and men's novice fours categories. Both crews picked up second places in their heats. The improving ladies' novice four dominated their heat to reach the semi-finals, where they managed a very close third. Mike Leyland jones continued his campaign in the men's junior skull, but will have to wait at least another week for that elusive win. And finally, club captain Richard Wadsworth made the semi-finals of the men's novice skull. Next stop, Wollstone Regatta on the Western Shore. 